One of these stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $4,500. Which star is it? Ed McMahon. Anson Williams. Jonathan Witters. Karen Valentine. George Goble. Elkie Summer. Jimmy Walker. Rosemary, or Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Well, thank you, Kenneth Williams. And good evening. Welcome once again to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hello, Hello Peter. Oh, star, I love that. Hiya, Harriet. This is Harriet Davis, our Miss Circle, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Nice to meet you, Peter. You're beautiful. Thank you. Mother of one, likes to dance, and maybe love. win a car this evening. I hope so. Yeah, good luck on that. Thank you. Our Mr. X is Alan Gibson. Hi, Alan. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Handsome gentlemen. We have a commercial, and then we're going to start a secret square game, and tonight it's worth, my goodness, $422 million. I've got to watch that. We'll be back. Yes. The figure out of a star is going to be a correct answer, making one up that so they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250, and we play three secret square games, and Kenny will tell us about game number one. And X starts the first secret square for a trip to Canada. We'll get you from Los Angeles via... Air Canada, which flies more people more often to more places in Canada from the United States than any other airline. So fly the airline that knows Canada best, Air Canada. You'll vacation at the Edmondson Plaza Hotel, Edmonton, Alberta. 350 rooms, indoor pools, saunas, outdoor ice skating, elegant dining and entertainment. The Edmond Plaza, Edmonton Plaza Hotel, furnished by Western International Hotels. And now, here is lovely Karen Valentine in the beige tones of natural tourmaline mink in Davini's $2,500 stroller length coat as he frames my lady's face with matching fox collar. Furnished by Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. Thank you, Karen Valentine. <laughs> and pack up two sets of sturdy and durable leaves, Grand Largo Luggage. Lending sophisticated styling and utility and an exciting fashion ensemble. Grand Largo Luggage furnished by Leeds. And take along a $500 assortment of Ditto's jeans and tops that hug the curve. Tie tops, tank tops, drawstrings, halter and t-shirts, hand-painted knits, each one a work of art furnished by Ditto's. And a Polaroid camera from the famous Spiegel catalog with more than 500 pages. New twice a year with over 50,000 quality items providing value, selection, and economy. Furnished by Spiegel. That's it, <laughs> That's it. Let's show the home audience for Secret Square. As you know, the stars are brief before the show to help them with the bluffs, but as always, they're hitting the actual questions for the first time. On the nighttime version, we always flip a coin, and Alan won the toss of the coin, so start. Good luck, my friend. Ed McMahon. And that's it. Oh. 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 Here we go, Ed. It's worth over $3,000. Special envelope, listen carefully. In what movie did Elizabeth Taylor make her debut? Debut. Lassie Come Home? National Velvet or Father of the Bride? National Velvet. National Velvet. I agree. No, it wasn't. Lassie, come home. It was Lassie, oh, come sorry. home. I would have I'm said sorry, National I'm... Velvet. No, that's what you thought. Yeah. He concurred. He could have disagreed. That's All the right. way this game works. A break for Harriet Davis. We have two more Secret Square games. So pick a start here. Let's see. I'll take Elkie Summer. I don't blame you. <laughs> According to an article in Psychology Today, is the average man at a barber shop more likely to talk to his barber about politics, sports, or foreign women? Foreign women? Foreign women. No. I think about, I think sports. Sports. I think I'll agree with Elkie. And I think you're both correct. <laughs> yeah, you've got the circle, Alan. Your turn. Jonathan Wears. Jonathan, as Boom Boom Bailey knows, <laughs> America has the Rose Bowl, the Cotton Bowl, the Orange Bowl, and the Super Bowl. But tell me, Boom Boom, does Japan have a bowl game, Japan? Well, of course, it's been a long time since I was in the rice bowl. <laughs> you were in the rice bowl. Uh, uh, I would assume that would be a, <laughs> a game there. Either that or just a huge pit. And uh, some guys with sticks. Um, I would say uh, yes. Uh, being an authority on the world of sports, it would have to be a bowl there in Japan. I'll agree with that. Uh, play for the first time this year. It's called the Japan Bowl with teams consisting of both are. American and Japanese players. Good for you, Boom Boom. For the next day, Harriet. Jimmy Walker. JJ, you notice one day that you are insolvent. Insolvent. Does that probably make you happy that you're insolvent? If I'm insolvent. I am very perturbed. He says perturbed. Sure, you are far into debt. You've got three <laughs> circles up there. Alan, your turn. George Global to block. George, my friend, in a restaurant in France, you see a customer whistling, snapping his fingers and clicking 
his teeth. What is he doing? Uh, he's trying to tell you that his ragu went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> uh, he's, he's probably calling for the check. Calling for the check. I'll agree. Yeah, getting the waiter's attention. Uh, you can for the check or something else, but that's for the waiter, right? Okay. Senta. All righty, Harriet. I'll take Rosemary. I don't blame you. Margaret? This is for two hundred and fifty dollars, my love. According to the column, Heartline. Who? Heartline. Okay. <laughs> show Heartline. Heartline. Yeah. If you notice a suspicious character following you, you should try to stay on a well-lighted street and do one other thing. What? Oh, I would flash some cash right away. <laughs> the old cash plan. The old cash bit, right? Ah. Uh, you're in a lighted street and yeah. what? You should say, well, you should stay, uh, the fellow's following you, very yeah. suspicious. You should try to stay on a well-lighted street, well-lit street, and do one other thing, if possible. Well, what you should that? try and find some place to go. I mean, you have a house or a gas station or something like that. Some place to run to. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah, run to the nearest house, if possible. Oh. Put an X there. Alan, a break for you. Karen Valentine. All righty, for $250, according to a recent study, are the odds good that you'll finally make it last? In a third marriage. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> well, sure, because you made all your mistakes before. Now you're going to just do it right. Third time, you got a shot, she says. I'll agree. Four out of five collapse <laughs> in the third marriage. Yes, absolutely not. Four out of five third marriages collapse. Well, all right. We heard you the first time. Four out of five. <laughs> Put a circle there. Okay, Harriet, your turn. Oh, let's see. I'll take Anson Williams. All righty. This would be for $250. No way for Alan to get three in a row. What is uh, Ili Nastase? What is Ili Nastase? <laughs> uh, it's I just read about that in Time magazine, and... Uh, it's a new national anthem of the Soviet Union. It's a new national anthem of the Soviet Union. Harriet? I disagree. No, he's one of the top tennis players in the world today. <laughs> the temperamental, temperamental Ely Nastase. We have 250 bucks for Harriet Davis. Congratulations, dude. We have a commercial, too. We'll be right back.